Good morning. Today is Monday, July 13th, and we are looking at Mark chapter 15. Begins the um, trial of Jesus and uh, the crucifixion as well. So we have Jesus before Pilate, the same conversation that Jesus has with Pilate in um, every gospel. Um, some are more lengthy, like in the Gospel of John, it's it's a more lengthy lengthy conversation. And in the Gospel of Luke, um, that he's taken to Herod as well as a uh, pilot. So this is the shortest version, but it's Mark. So ev almost every story is the shortest version taken before Pilate. The whole council is gathered and they send him before Pilate. Um, then the ask for um, a prisoner to be released. And Barabbas is identified in Mark's gospel as a murderer during an insurrection. So it's a very specific political uh, situation. In, in, Mark, in Matthew's gospel, commentators seem to think the reference towards Barabbas was he was some kind of bandit, but uh, notorious nonetheless. Uh, but in this case, he is um, very clearly, uh, it's very clearly stated that he is a, um, a murderer and he murdered someone during the insurrection. So that, that's a reference made there. Um, Simon of Cyrene is asked, like always, to carry the cross. However, Simon is given two sons named in this, uh, in this gospel. And I always think it's odd when people are named specifically, like we had blind Bartimaeus, you know, um, but the woman at the well or the Syrophoenician woman or other big characters, the rich man, a lot of people don't get their names put in, but here we are, Simon of Cyrene, always named, and then he is the father of Alexander and Rufus. So there's some kind of a midrash there. You can tell the story of uh, Simon of Cyrene and his family, perhaps. So I think that's a good fodder for that kind of thing. And um, maybe some novelist will look into that, uh, tell a Jesus story. In Midrash. So uh, they have this unique confession in Mark's gospel. The centurion, a centurion and others gathered identify who Jesus is. The surely this is the son of God in Matthew. But this is a little more specific. It feels to me when I read it a little more intimate. It's the only person, not demon, who identifies Jesus as the son of God in um, the gospel of Mark. And so uh, this, this Gentile centurion identifies Jesus as the, he says, truly, this is the son of God. And who was there at the crucifixion? You know, the old hymn, were you there when they crucified my Lord? And um, upon this reading today, I started to feel like that song, the, the, the reason why that song is, is asked is because so many weren't. So the reference, it goes directly from what the centurion says and those, you know, I guess that are around him as well. And then that the women were present. It just names them. Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and also Salome. There were the three women who were named specifically by Matthew that they were there at the crucifixion and that they also followed the body to the tomb as well. And so these, these women, they're named, they were there. They were the ones who were there when the, the Jesus was crucified. And I almost think that I, I hear them and I will forever now, I think singing that hymn, were you there when they crucified my Lord? So the person writing the hymn identifies Jesus as a possessive, my Lord. Um, and, and I think that part of being there and showing up for something that was hard, which is hard for us to do, was uh, the way they claimed Jesus for their own because they didn't they didn't walk away scared, um, they didn't run and hide. Um, I think Jesus appeared to those who ran and ran away and hid and still blessed them. So it's the mercy and grace of God through Jesus Christ, right? But they were there, they were there until the end. Um, it was a day of preparation. And so Joseph of Arimathea, we identify him in Mark's gospel as a respected member of the council. So he was on the other team that was, you know, questioning Jesus and doing other things um, against Jesus. And he summoned the centurion and asked whether Jesus was dead. 
Um, when the centurion said he was, he granted Joseph the body. Um, and then it's very, a lot of detail about Jesus' burial. And then it says that um, Mary and Mary, the mother of Joseph, the two women, not Salome, I guess she's not mentioned here, uh, they saw where he was laid. So they witnessed this burial. So they were there at the uh, crucifixion and then they witnessed the burial. They were there the whole time. And so um, I would imagine Joseph of Arimathea must have been around somewhere as well. But this is, this is the, um, the crucifixion. This is the way God shows up in the world and um, goes through pain and suffering uh, and death. And that's where, that's where we leave you today.